Hello, welcome back to Too Many Handhelds. Uh, today we're talking pinball, uh, specifically the pin switch from Sakura Retro Mods. And you may recognize that name from the Etsy shop where I get those skins and other customizations that I put on those emulator handhelds. But this is probably the hardest thing I have to film. <laughs> it's a pinball accessory that comes in a variety of themes. I got the Mario theme. And as the name pin switch implies, you actually take your Nintendo Switch screen, plug it in here, and then you slip it in. And then this is the cover that goes on. You can see there's two magnets here. And it slips on top. And now you can play pinball. So I'm going to reposition the camera so you can actually see what's going on. And uh, we'll get started. Okay, so I have this set up. We're actually in the dark right now because I wanted to show you a couple of things. One, the light in the front lights up, which is kind of cool. So when you go to actually like hit the plunger, it lights up. And two, I just wanted to get the glare off the screen. Um, this is Pinball FX3. Um, Pinball FX3 is a Switch app, and I think it's for a couple other systems too. But there's a variety of tables you can get, and I just get them on sale. Um, I don't buy them... Um, unless they're on sale. So I usually wait till they're like a couple bucks and then I pick them up. So we'll play Secrets of the Deep, which is one that I like. All right, let's see here. So here you can pause your game. You could also change the camera angle so if you want it to be a little bit higher or lower you could do that there's several different views this is the more dramatic one there we go and you play pinball I mean you use the two buttons on the side to move the flippers and uh, <laughs> pay attention to what you're doing and do better than that but uh, as I shake the table this thing is awesome um, it's a really cool accessory. It doesn't use Bluetooth. It actually uh, works like a wired controller. So when we have it plugged into the device, there's no lag or latency that I can detect. And it's really cool how there's a variety of tables and you could extend it and add more tables as uh, you wish. So if you get tired of the tables you have, you can just get some more. Or do like I do and just wait for sales and pick them up then. Oh, I am not doing well on this table today. All right, let's see. And I kind of like this camera angle because it's a little bit dramatic and it kind of just goes where the ball does a little bit. Ah, oh, come on. There's so many cool gimmicks on this table too, but now that I have an audience, I can't get to any of them. There's like a periscope that you shoot the ball out of. I like that little gauge that goes as you shoot the ball out from the plunger. And I don't know if you noticed, there are a lot of licensed pinball tables on there too. Like there are a bunch of them from Fox shows and I don't want to use those because I don't want a copyright strike of, you know, it gets mismatched uh, as an episode or something. Um, but Bethesda has their own. There's one that's like Doom, Skyrim, and uh, something else. I don't remember what it was. But their tables based... Oh, Fallout. That's what it was. But their, their tables based on Bethesda games, which is kind of cool. Man, I am just... Not doing great today. Okay, we are back in the dark. This is a table I like. Uh, it's from Williams. It's called The Getaway. And I like how before you start a table, it does like this kind of dramatic pan over all of it so you can kind of see everything that's in there. Um, this is one of the newest ones I picked up. I got this on a sale, I think a week ago, two weeks ago, but it was like $3 for the set. So, I mean, you can't beat that. And that's usually when I try to buy these. Like, I wait till they're on sale, pick them up, and, uh, yeah, let's get going. See how well I could do this through a viewfinder. While I shake the table. Oh. actually going to adjust this angle a little bit too. That's a little bit better. And I like how they give you so many different camera angles too. It's really nice to be able to kind of change the perspective and see. 
Oh man. So I'm not very good at pinball, but I think the more I play this, the better I'll get. Um, I think it's kind of a cool alternative to um, those really huge at games pinball tables they have. I mean, those are cool, don't get me wrong. I think those are really amazing. But I don't have the space or money for one right now. So for me, this is like a really good kind of uh, midway point, almost like a countercade, you know, in the same way that you might get like a countercade versus, oh, come on, like a full scale arcade one up. You know, you might want to get something like this that's a tabletop unit that you can put on a shelf and then use with your Switch instead of, you know, the really huge one uh, that sits around in your your house in the corner somewhere. Um, I don't have space, so I, I just can't get one of those right now if I wanted to. But uh, I think they're really cool for what it's worth. So there you have it. That is the pin switch from Sakura Retro Mod. This is one of the coolest accessories I think I've ever seen. Um, just the idea itself is pretty brilliant. Um, I love how it's just 3D printed, but also pretty good, pretty high quality. Um, it feels very professionally made, and uh, I just love it. I'm really happy with it. It just arrived today, too. I just got it. Um, I'm hoping that uh, the more I play this, the better I'll get at pinball. But uh, I'm also hoping more of those tables go on sale, because when they're not on sale, it's kind of pricey to pick up all the DLC. But oh man, it's so sweet to get them for like three bucks. So thank you for watching. Always remember to charge your handhelds or tabletop units if that's the case. Um, this actually doesn't charge. This is actually powered from the Switch. I should have mentioned that at some point. But when you plug that, that thing in the, the side of it, it acts like a controller. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.